So do not think uh, in the negative way. Try to remember the Buddha saying what? Charity, okay? Offering to the Buddhas, to enlightened saints and monks and nuns. I didn't offer it to them because I think they're enlightened monks and nuns and they benefit me. No, no. I offer them because I love them. Because I thought, okay, I didn't know they were working in the field either. I thought they'd just sit there and rely on some disciple come and, and, and offering something. But not many Koreans would have time to go all the way to Yongtong, so I thought they don't have such a good food all the time. So whatever good food I offered to them, because, because probably they didn't have it for a long time or they never had it. Like when I, they give me a lot of this uh, sucha guavabana, something like that. It looked like a Buddha's uh, tough here. That's why they call it sucha, I mean, the, the Buddha fruit. <laughs> and they give me some, and I asked my nun attendant, do they have this fruit in Korea? They say, no, we cannot plant it. <laughs> I say, try, but it doesn't grow. I say, okay, okay, quickly bring this, you know, bowl full of fruit to offer to the, the nun. I don't have enough for one each, but they can share, tell them that, yeah because they don't have, understand? Because I feel that the monk has nothing, no family, no husband, no kids, no wife already, and just some food to live and don't have enough. That's why I offer to them. You understand? Yes. Not for merit, nothing. I care nothing for myself. Everything here, I truly realize there's this illusion. Nothing for me. So you have to, you have to give in this kind of spirit, in love, understand? I help because you think they need it. Don't ever think of merit. The Buddha say all that, explain it to you, but you don't think like that. You have to give with love. Then I tell you, merit will be manifold if even you care for it or not. But if you give without love, and then you, okay, you have some merit, but it's not wholesome, okay?